Hello viewers, here I am to speak to you about the endometrial preparation for a frozen embryo transfer. See there are various uh, methods of preparing the endometrium, one is the natural cycle, the other is uh, HRT cycle and third being a uh, loop depot protocol. So it varies like it depends on the selection of the patient as to which method would be apt for each uh, individual. But I am here to just tell you what are all the prerequisites that are required during an endometrial preparation in a healthy way. See when the female partner reports on day 2, we screen them for the basic blood hormones such as thyroid. We make sure that their glycosylated hemoglobin, the sugar control is normal for 3 months, serum prolactin. So once these hormone profiles are alright, we check them for galacturia the same cycle and then we subject them for an ultrasound scanning. So what ideally we expect in an ultrasound is that uh, we want the uterus to be uh, normal, normal in the sense for adenomyosis we go for a loop depot protocol, if it is a multiple fibroid uterus then again we subject them for loop depot protocol. So if the uterus is free from diseases then we take them for a normal hormone replacement therapy and on the day 2 scan we look at the endometrium. We expect an endometrium anywhere between 3 to 5 millimeter in thickness. We do not want very thick endometrium as we know that if the endometrium is more than 5, uh, say 10, 8, 9, whatever it may be, we know that it is being influenced by hormone, mainly the estrogen. So we prefer a thin endometrium to make sure that she is free of hormone influence. So after that we look at the ovaries, we make sure that there are no cysts in the ovaries because as you know the cysts can also be hormone secreting, few may be estrogen secreting which can again get in par with the results of embryo transfer. So after making sure that the blood thyroid, the glycosylated hemoglobin, the prolactin level is normal, there is no galacturia, the endometrium is of adequate thickness which is 3 to 5 millimeter, the ovaries are normal and free from cysts, we start them on the hormone preparation we give them a hormone replacement estrogen depending on the requirement varying between 2 milligram to begin with per day for 4 to 5 days then we step up to 4 milligram and then to 6 milligram if it is a very thin endometrium then we start with little higher dose of around 4 milligram per day for 5 days then we step it up to 6, 8 a maximum of also 12 milligram if required depending on the endometrium if it is very thin, we subject them with supplements of colony stimulating factor which is being injected in utero. So a single dose of uh, colony stimulating factor is injected around 12th to 13th day of the endometrial preparation and then we start the injection sustain from the 14th or 15th day of the estrogen started cycle. So by preparing the endometrium in the right manner, on the day of starting the sustain, we make sure that the endometrial lining has a triple line pattern of around 9 to 10 millimeter with grade 3 to 4 vascularity, absent endometrial waves and no folliculogenesis in both ovaries and when they satisfy all these requirements, we then take them up for the embryo transfer.